Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I hope you had a lovely weekend. Today's video is going to be a favorites video. So just basically things that I've been loving um, a lot over the last like month and a bit. Um, you've seen me do a couple of videos where I'm trying new things and um, there have been a few things that I've just kept going back for which I really really love sometimes. You know, I can feature a product and then probably not speak on it again. Um, but I definitely wanted to share um, with you things that I have been obsessed with that have made it to my main makeup collection or part of my skincare routine which I love and um, also other things in fashion as well um, which I've been loving as well so I am keen to share that with you guys okay yeah so I've got skincare I've got makeup I've got fragrance I've got shoes see I've got shoes and I've got jeans okay for all my thick girls out there so this video is for you make sure you stay tuned and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and yeah I hope you enjoy the video okay so first up is skincare so um, I love skin and I obviously try to take care of mine as much as possible um, by doing an evening routine and a nighttime routine I mean an evening routine and a morning routine whether irrespective of if I want makeup or not um, and one thing I'm really really big on is glowy is 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 glowing skin and hydration so I think hydration is the main focus of my skincare routines right now because I do have dehydrated skin and you know with dehydrated skin you are really trying to introduce wrinkles quite early on and you want to get into your anti-aging skincare as soon as possible if you do have that dehydrated skin um, and also you obviously want to try and drink a lot more water but I think um, all of those sort of combined together you can work pretty they can all work pretty well to sort of get your skin up to where you want it to be so hydration is a major major focus for me and um i sort of am where i'm basing a lot of my skincare routine at right now and at the same time i am trying to combat um pigmentation and hyperpigmentation dark spots and all that jazz but obviously if my skin is healthy and i'm not having breakouts then I'm, i have less chance of having to correct you know dark spots from you know pimple scarring and popping pimples and all that jazz so the happier my skin is the better for me obviously except for when I'm, it's that time of the month i do have like one or two breakouts last month i had some breakouts happening on my forehead i don't know if that is because of the new skincare product i was using or because of my period but it went away <laughs> it went away really quickly i didn't fuss with it i didn't touch it i just continued my routine as i normally do because normally what happens is that when you see a new pimple you start to just grab anything to try and get it and just to try and take it away and that could end up contributing to the problem just aggravating the skin even more so i've just learned to just like take a take a deep breath calm myself let it sort of do its thing and sort of like uh uh disappear if it doesn't then i can go into like trying new things so i waited like a week for it to just like disappear and it did so um anyway ramble so my morning routine literally consists of three things at the moment um i use an essence after i've cleansed my face um there's a debate between essence and toners that happened a bit last year i do want to do a blog post on it let me, let me know if you guys are interested for my skincare girls who really want to know more about skincare um i want to talk more about like you know chemical exfoliants um your ahas your bhas and um you know the difference between essence and toners those sorts of like fun skincare um research articles i really am into and i love doing that sort of research but um i've been using this chanel hydro beauty micro liquid essence uh essence and so um this can sort of so this is the debate between toners and essence what's the difference can you substitute one for the other it's so lightweight and the hydro beauty range from chanel is very very it's very luxurious but it is i think one of the most affordable ranges from chanel skincare actually and um secondly it's um it's all about hydration so it's hydro beauty so um the first product i bought from chanel when i was buying into the brand was a chanel hydro beauty moisturizer because my focus is hydration so i definitely gravitate towards the hydro beauty range really happy that it is like the most affordable skincare range <laughs> so um yeah and um this is really great i use this i just um 
pump a bit into my hands and then I just massage it into my skin. After letting that uh, settle in, I reach for my Sisley um, Phyto Blank Lightening Hydrating Emulsion. I use this after my toner because this is my product that I use to combat the hyperpigmentation and dark spots um, just to sort of, you know, let the skin even out. I have almost finished this so I'm crying a little bit inside but this is really amazing so one thing I suggest all the time is figure out what you're trying to sort out with your skin what are your concerns because mine are not the same as yours not the same as the person next to you so what are your concerns my concerns like I said is hydration and evening up my skin tone um, if I do happen to break out I will reach for a drying lotion or a or I actually use my puns um, my Pond's Pimple Clear Face Wash is the most amazing thing and I use that on my Clarisonic and I concentrate it on the areas where I've broken up. Now, I haven't had to do that in a while. The last time I did that was about like October, September, October last year when I had a massive breakout. Um, but the Pond's Pimple Clear is one of my favorite products for getting rid of pimples at the moment and then um, after I do my phyto blank emulsion now that is my way of just making sure that no dark spots and and have hyperpigmentation comes about I then reach for my Dior capture youth glow booster which has become such a favorite um, this is what gives me glowing skin I can apply this in the evening when I wake up the next morning my skin is so radiant and this skincare routine has given me the confidence to leave my house without makeup on I only wear makeup when it's absolutely necessary at the moment um, events shooting or you know birthday or whatever some function I'm going to weekends I am makeup free and um, I really owe this glowy skin, um, this healthy, radiant skin um, to this Dior range. It also comes with the um, Lift Sculptor as well, the Lift Sculpting Serum. There are about five serums in this range, um, in this Capture Youth range. And they also are accompanied by an advanced cream as well, which is once again such a favorite so rich and hydrating that i like to use this for night time so for during the day i will just use the serum i don't even have to moisturize after i've used my serum just those three products the hydro beauty essence phyto blank and my glow booster serum i don't even have to moisturize just put on sunscreen and I walk out the door for someone who has had dehydrated skin my whole life i i have often been left with this tight this tightness on my face even after I've applied serum after moisturizer after serum after toner after this after that I still will be left with this tightness that comes about like an hour later I don't need a moisturizer with those three products at all I just use my SPF and I walk out the door but for night time I like to just indulge in this um, age delay advanced cream so because I do have that dehydrated skin and I am obviously 25 plus I am very much into anti-aging products and um, this is not focusing I'm very much into anti-aging products and so I definitely have given this um, age delay advanced cream a, gl a, gl a go and um, they match beautifully with the serums as well so I feel like maybe I have or I haven't I'm not sure but um, I've been raving about the new um, concealers from Urban Decay and I just have to give these one last shout out on my channel so um, I've been on the hunt for a full coverage concealer now um, NARS has one I tried it I wasn't a fan of the NARS uh, creamy concealer I felt that I had I had a lot of um, trouble getting the product onto the wand, on, onto the wand, uh, onto the doe foot, and then applying it to my skin. It was just very, very. It was too much on the dry side and not very much um, creamy and smooth. I definitely also tried the Bobbi Brown full, Instant Full Cover Concealer, so it's a new concealer from Bobbi Brown, and I was like, oh great, I don't have to hunt for the NARS thing anymore. I have a replacement because I do have my Aloe Girl concealers which I'm wearing which I am wearing today but I wanted another option because just my Aloe Girl runs out then what because 
form you can hardly find in this game. I think they've sorted out their, stock, their stocking issue now. But I mean, for a while, I would have to buy three or five Allego concealers at a time just to make sure I had enough to last me for a couple of months. Now, um, Bobby Brown came out with the Instant Full Cover Concealer. Love that. No problem with it. Amazing. Then, I got to try the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. Now, I have two concealers, which I can go back and forth in between. But I have to say that... The Urban Decay All Nighter Concealers are my favorite at the moment. They are full coverage, they are creamy, they are smooth when you just apply them onto the skin. They're absolutely perfect. I think these are, this is the perfect concealer. If you are the full coverage girl, if you like glam looks, if you like, you know, even if you have a no makeup day and you just want coverage on your under eyes or you want to spot conceal, they're thick enough just to do that. You need to work uh, quickly to blend these out and I would always suggest that you just have a damp-ish beauty blender so you don't need it to be um, wet but just you know have that moistness just to uh, just smooth this out even more but I absolutely love these concealers they are my favorite concealers right now probably number one followed by Allego followed by Bobbi Brown what else I'm loving in makeup is the new Inglot and JLo collaboration I wonder if you guys have gone into Inglot and have a look and had and have had a look at the collection if you are a nude girl, you love your nude and you love a focus on like glowing skin and highlights and oh, you will love this collection. And I feel like Inglot is a brand that's very like underrated in some areas. So a lot of us often gravitate towards MAC, um, a MAC before you like go look at Inglot. And their stuff is sometimes better, uh, better priced as opposed to MAC, but they have their amazing products that... You, they know they are good, so they like go balls to the walls of the pricing, okay? And one of them is their sparkling dust. JLo has a sparkling dust with Inglot, which is this one here. So this you can use um, as a highlight, you can use as um, body glitter, you can use this as eyeshadow in your crease. And I love the highlight for evening time because you know it's just going to pop like... The pop is going to be insane and that's when I go a little bit extra with the highlighter but um, for during the day like even I feel like this is a little bit too much but because I'm on camera hey why not <clears throat> another goodie I'm loving from the Inglots JLo collab is the gloss so um, I have the Jennifer Lopez Inglot lip glossy and she has a couple of nude glasses which looks so impeccable I wish I, I, I want to go shop the collection I, I felt like I wanted everything that's how I felt when I saw the collection yeah but I just want to try this on so this is the Jennifer Lopez Inglot one and it's just a clear gloss with some specks of gold in it um, so I'm just gonna switch up my lip to a gloss And I just love a nude glossy lip right now. I just feel like it just takes that up a little bit more. It just gives you a little bit more glam. I'm someone who hated gloss in the beginning. I was like, ugh, I just want matte lips. I just want matte, 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 matte. But now, ugh, give me a nude gloss. I think what got me on was the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. Amazing. And now, I just want to grab all of these nude lip glosses that have these glittery things, this glittery stuff in it. It's so girly. But it's so beautiful and I think it puts a whole look together and I really love, I really love glasses now and I love this. Okay, so our final look at beauty is fragrance and um, right now I have been loving the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle fragrance. Uh, this is in the intense one, yeah? Yeah. Mademoiselle is a fragrance that is worn by a lot of women, okay? Like, if someone is wearing it, you can immediately tell it's Mademoiselle. And, I mean, when I first sprayed this on myself, I could immediately think of at least five people that I knew that were Mademoiselle. <laughs> okay? I haven't owned many Chanel fragrances in the past. I've owned some Char- I've owned Chance. I've owned- 
I've owned like the rose, the rose, the pinkish chance and the normal chance fragrance. And then um, I have uh, Chanel Gabrielle. And then um, my fourth one to own is Mademoiselle. So definitely when I, when I sprayed this, I was like, okay, I don't know like five people who wear this. <laughs> but I have to say it's one I keep going back for. And I'm sort of starting to realize why this is a signature scent for a lot of women. It is so feminine, but it's not overly feminine and overly sweet. Um, but not to the extent of being too um, too young and juvenile, I think. Especially the, in, the Eau de Parfum Intense. I think um, the intenseness of this fragrance is definitely more... Um, it's more deeper than the... Um, the normal Mademoiselle, um, which is probably why I loved this more. When it comes to fragrances, I always find myself gravitating to the one that is that is marketed as intense or the, the, the darker version of the original version. I always find myself going towards those scents. Once again, maybe why I love this now is because it settles differently on me than it does a settle onto you know the people that I do know who wear Mademoiselle so um, I think one thing that I've learned is that don't just um, you know avoid a scent just because it reminds you of somebody else it will smell differently on you really happy and um, the juice keeps going down so I need to hold off on using this too much <laughs> I haven't spoken about fashion on my channel in such a long time, but I thought I would just uh, share like three things which I've been loving. Um, firstly, I I did go to Zara and purchase a whole bunch of stuff before my trip to the UK, uh, just because I needed some winter things, obviously. Um, so Zara is doing the damn thing, right? When it comes to these mitts and stuff like that right now. So if I you, I'll go and check that out. Um, and from Zara, I also picked up these, um, lo what are these called? Like, what are these? These are not loafers. These are, are these brogues? No, these are not brogues. But anyway, I picked up these like patents, um, whatever, platform school shoes. <laughs> so I never ever thought that I would be one to wear, to ever like wear shoes like this they're very like um preppy and new schoolish and really something that i've always see the cool kids wearing when i saw them i really wanted to try them and i was just like oh, you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna grab them i really i really like them so i got these on the size seven um i did get these when i did injure my foot so i had to just wait a little bit for me to be able to stretch out the shoe a little bit so it's perfectly fine now really comfortable and I really love the lace the lace um, on the lace it says unstoppable Zara likes to replicate a lot of designer um, brands um, I think they've gotten in trouble for it before correct me if I'm wrong but I think Louis Vuitton has some laces like this and I think the Louis Vuitton ones obviously say Louis Vuitton on the laces so correct me if I'm wrong if you are aware and I love these shoes Primarily because, you know, I attend, I attend a lot of events and I go to Joburg for a lot of these press trips as well. And I'm someone who prefers, I prefer comfort over anything else. So, so I want to be comfortable. So for me, comfort is wearing flats. But you obviously want your flats to be quite stylish as well. So um, I like these with um, a pair of stockings, um, a skirt, a coat that's just like draped over the shoulders. And you know, just for it to look preppy and nice like that. So I love this when I'm in the mood to look done, like dressed up. I want to look like I've tried, but um, I just know that I'm very comfortable when I wear flats as well. So um, these are my go-to shoes when it comes to, okay, I'm going to this event. I don't want to wear heels. I want to look like I've tried. Bam. And then last but not least, jeans for all my things girls so guys i placed an order at fashion nova okay so i placed an order at fashion nova around about february um and in that order i just had like one pair of jeans and sorry two pairs of jeans and a dress um <clears throat> and one of the jeans was a bit too small for me and the white jeans were perfect and then i was like oh you know what i'm gonna get more i'm gonna order more jeans from fashion nova 
So, um, let me first tell you about my shipping story. <laughs> So, like I said, I ordered my my first Fashion Nova order in February. I got my stuff in, like, just when I came back from London. So, I ordered my stuff in just so that I could have clothes for my UK trip. And it came after my UK trip, which was the end of March. So, imagine. So, I ordered, like, 5th of February. They came, like, 28th, 29th of March. Now, this was partly due to the fact that when I, mean, I was tracking my stuff, they were stuck at the Johannesburg um, mail hub for the majority of the time. So they came to the, to, they landed in South Africa within about two weeks, like the website says, like 10, 10 or so days or 10 to 40 days, I'm not too sure. And then um, they were at the hub, at the mail hub in Johannesburg for about a month. And um, I went on forums, I called my post office and asked them, you know, can you give me a contact for Johannesburg? They were like, no, like, you know, they will release it when they release it. And I was just like, and all of the forums and stuff on in the internet said that, forget about it. Like, we, they didn't receive their packages for like a year. They waited like nine months. I'm just like, I'm not going to get my jeans. So it's over. And so when I got back from the UK, that's when I saw my post office sent me a, a, a ticket to come and fetch my stuff and that's when I got my first set of my first two pieces of jeans from Fresh and Nova. The first set of jeans were too small for me. These they were called the Hit the Freeway jeans and I got them in black. Um, so I was like, so before I made my order, I watched a lot of YouTube videos on thick girls and the sizes that they would get. So it looked like I would be a 2X. So that's what I ordered my jeans in, the 2X. And the Hit the Freeway jeans were too small. They didn't close over my tummy. So one thing I look for in jeans, obviously, is the high waist. I need a high waist. I wanted to sit over my ass and, you know, just around my belly button because I need it to be high and I don't want to worry about things sliding down, seeing an ass crack. I don't need stress about that. I want to be comfortable and just have my jeans sit right the whole time. So once they are over like my ass and they sit on my high waist, they're not going to move. So that's what I make sure my jeans do. These ones did not fit around my stomach which I'm really confused about because they stretch just like my canopy jeans, which were the white jeans I got. I can't show you those because they are dirty and in the wash right now. So, um, I, but with these ones I opted for distressed legging, for distressed, um, for distressed pattern. Now, what I am gonna do is go to a tailor and have them sort of figure out a way to adjust the material so that they can fit me because I did not order the stuff all the way from the States and pay that customs for me not to have jeans not fit me. So um, I'm gonna, my, my brother's girlfriend suggested a tailor to me who can sort of um, add some material at the back and um, make them go around your way. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. So yeah. <clears throat> so I really wanted to try this pair on for you, but I can't because I was doing my makeup and I messed them up and obviously I can't read dirty jeans on camera. But um, I got, so I, so the other, so with my first, um fashion over order i ordered some white jeans um and those are called the canopy jeans so these are the jeans here well yeah these do look a little bit wider so these are the jeans here and um so i've ordered so i had ordered the white ones so with my second fashion over order i ordered the black ones because i really really love them they're just simple like jeggings yeah these fashion over jeans are more like jeggings not really like jean jeans I mean, that's what I think you want to look for if you are thick and you want comfort. I've never found normal jeans comfortable in my 25, 26 years. I've never found normal jeans comfortable. So um, I'm a jegging girl and a legging girl. So I want the jeans to be very stretchy and nice. And canopy jeans have this knee slit. So I really, really love these. And... Um, that's why I got these in black as well. So I have these in white and I got these in black and white as well. I think I did an Insta story where I just did like a shot of the jeans from the top and you could just see the cuts and I just said these are Fashion Nova. So yeah, I had to get them in black and these are again a 2XL. So the black ones, the Hit the Freeway jeans were 2XL, they didn't fit. 
the canopy jeans are 2xl they fit so the sizing is a little bit weird um i, I feel like i could go a size higher actually um when i have a food baby i struggle to breathe <laughs> i undo the zip but um i felt like going a size higher i would have a bit of like a crotch hanging um i'll have like like camel toe hang and i didn't want that and i really like my jeans to be the skinny you know type and i really want them to hug my body and my curves so um i was scared of going a size higher and just it not fitting it right the way i wanted to and then oh these ones i love again so i ordered another pair of white jeans and these are also a 2x and these are called the glistening jeans so one thing a lot of the plus size girls say in the states is to order canopy jeans and glistening jeans and order every color in each because once you find one that fits you right you should order all of the colors which is what i believe in as well which is why i now have two of the canopy jeans and then i ordered the glistening jeans as well um in white they didn't have the glistening jeans in black so um this will have to do and this again also has um some distressing and a hole by the knee these are definitely more for like summer vibes so i'll have to like put these away until summertime comes and not gain any weight um and these again are a 2xl so stretchy look at this stretch it's insane it's insane and it's so comfortable the only thing is obviously white things get so dirty so easily so i'm gonna be have to be, be very careful with these which is why i couldn't show you my other white ones because they are filthy right now and then my fourth pair of jeans from fashion nova are the sorry my fifth pair are the beach bum jeans these are the very first jeans i saw on fashion nova and i absolutely love them because as a thick girl i feel like we find it so hard to find these like cute jeans like we want the cute distressed ones as well we want the ones with the knee cutouts as well like where do we find those so for me fashion nova is the only place that has what they have for slim girls this exactly the same stuff for thick girls like why should we be separated like i don't understand so i am so happy that a site like fashion nova exists like it's amazing um and these so these beach bum jeans are a thicker material than the glistening or canopy jeans and so i ordered them in a 3xl so after watching um more youtube videos and before placing my second order from fashion nova one girl who i really go to for all of her um sizing and her thoughts on the fashion over jeans she had gone one size up with this jean so i was like okay let me do the same thing and they fit um like the two xl jeans so once again they're sizing they are a little bit snug but um i feel like if i just lose like five kgs I'll be good to go i'll be happy guys we're not here to gain weight we're here to maintain or lose you know the only issue with these ones is i don't like the ankles so i really like my skinny jeans to be skinny so they need to just form part of my leg all the way to the ankle and like taper in so i just want to get some material taken away so that it's a bit like bootlegish to me which i don't like i don't like the bootleg cut so um i really want either to have them tailor this or my roll has to be a bit longer you know so that it goes a bit higher up my ankle but um really love these jeans again stretchy but not as stretchy as the canopy and glistening jeans so yeah that's it i just wanted to share that with you guys i also ordered some stuff from boohoo which i um, really don't like one of them was this top which is now just become my house top because I don't feel like it's something I can wear outside. <laughs> it's very like affordable. Like, I mean, the skirts I ordered were like 15 pounds and nine pounds and 10 pounds. But goddamn, you know what? You get what you pay for. Because when I saw my clothes, I was just like, wow. Like, that's, in that that's intense. Like, you really get what you pay for out in these streets. And the pictures were really deceiving of the models on the site. 
but um, funny enough when I did try them on I really like the look of them so maybe I'll save that for another video um, this is one of the tops that I got which I don't really like but I just wanted a white look for the video so that's why I'm wearing it but um, whatever that's life anyway guys that is it of my current favorites in all of those areas fashion beauty and um thank you so much for watching if you like this kind of video let me know make sure to comment like and subscribe and i will see you soon bye